A United States Military Occupation Code, or a Military Occupational Specialty Code MOS code, is a nine-character code used in the United States Army and United States Marine Corps to identify a specific job. In the United States Air Force, a system of Air Force Specialty Codes AFSC is used. In the United States Navy, a system of naval ratings and designators are used along with the Navy Enlisted Classification NEC system. A system of ratings are also used in the United States Coast Guard. Since an individual can obtain multiple job specialties, a duty military occupational specialty DMOS is used to identify what their primary job function is at any given time. An individual must complete and pass all required training for their military occupational specialty qualification MOSQ. Topic: Army Topic. World War II Originally, the four-digit MOS code mostly listed the recruit's civilian profession. This was to aid in classifying what military job they could be assigned. With so many recruits being processed, identifying any semi-skilled or skilled civilian tradesmen made it easier to match them with the right military job. There was an additional list of military trades and trainings added so a trained soldier could be assigned to the right unit. There were no grouping of similar trades together, making it hard for someone to know the meaning of an MOS code without a manual. <laughs> Post-war reform The MOS system now had three to five digits. The first four-digit code number indicated the soldier's job, the first two digits were the field code, the third digit was the sub-specialty and the fourth code number separated by a period was the job title. A fifth code digit was for the soldier's special qualification identifier SQI digit, which indicated what specialized training the soldier had. If the soldier did not have an SQI, the digit was listed as zero or was omitted. The codes for the civilian trades were removed as unnecessary. Examples 11 is the field code for infantry, 1.1 is the sub-specialty of light weapons, and 7 is the SQI for airborne training. Therefore, 111.10 is the MOS for an infantryman and 111.17 is for an airborne qualified paratrooper. 91 was the old field code for the medical field, 912.0 was the MOS for medical NCO and 912.00 was a generalist medical NCO with no SQI. Topic: 1965 reform. In 1965 the system was revamped. There were completely different codes for enlisted, non-commissioned officers, warrant officers, and commissioned officers. Enlisted and NCO personnel had a five-symbol code. The first four code symbols were made up of a two-digit code for the career field, a letter code for the field specialty, and a number code 1 to 5, indicating level of instruction in their field specialty. The fifth code symbol was an SQI code letter indicating training in a special skill the letter O indicating that the soldier had no SQI. An exception to the five-symbol rule was made for an SQI which indicated language fluency. In this case, seven symbols were used, with L as the language qualification indicator, followed by two characters indicating the specific language. Warrant officers also had a five-symbol code but it was different. The first three numbers were the career field, then a letter code for the field specialty, and ended in the SQI code letter. Officers had a four-digit code number for their career field and specialty. Officers with a special qualification also had an SQI code number prefix to their MOS rather than a code letter suffix. Officers without a special qualification had no prefix number. Topic: 1983 reform. In 1983, there was a reform of this system. Some of the field code numbers were changed and the MOS codes were streamlined. Warrant officers and officers received the same career field codes as enlisted and NCO personnel and ended in the same SQI letter codes. 
Warrant officers received a five-symbol MOS consisting of a four-symbol field specialty code consisting of the two-digit field code, a one-digit sub-field code number usually zero, the field specialty code letter, and followed by the SQI code letter. Officers now had a four-symbol alphanumeric MOS. It consisted of the three-symbol field specialty code of two numbers and a specialty code letter and ended in the SQI letter code. The field code 18 was created for U.S. Army Special Forces, which are now considered part of the regular U.S. Army. Previously they had been considered a layer between the intelligence services and the Army. The 18A was for Special Forces officers and 180A was for Special Forces warrant officers. The 18X was for Special Forces candidates who had not yet passed the Q course. The A Team leaders had to be captains instead of lieutenants and were rotated to conventional postings. Certain field specialty code letters were reserved. The X was for recruits or candidates who have pre-selected a career field but had not graduated from AIT. The Z is for senior NCOs of E8 or E9 grade. The A is for officers and warrant officers in a general capacity. Specialist officers and warrant officers have other field code letters reserved for them. Topic: <laughs> Current day. The current list of Army military occupational specialty codes is published on the United States Army Human Resources Command (HRC) PAMXXI website. Topic. Army enlisted personnel The MOS code MOSC, consisting of nine characters, provides more information than a soldier's MOS. It is used by automated management systems and reports. The MOSC is used with active and reserve records, reports, authorization documents, and other personnel management systems. The elements of the MOSC are as follows First three characters, the MOS. The first two characters are always numbers, but the third character is always a letter. The two-digit number is usually but not always, synonymous with the Career Management Field CMF. For example, CMF-11 covers infantry, so MOS-11B is Rifle Infantryman. Among the letters, Z is reserved for Senior Sergeant E8, such that 11Z is Senior Infantry Sergeant. The fourth character of the MOSC represents skill level commensurate with rank and grade. Zero is used to identify personnel undergoing training for award of a primary MOS PMOS. One identifies a private PVT through specialist SPC pay grade E4 or corporal corporal also pay grade E4. Two identifies a sergeant sergeant pay grade E5. Three. Identifies a staff sergeant SSG, pay grade E6. 4. Identifies a sergeant first class SFC, pay grade E7. 5. Identifies a master sergeant MSG or first sergeant 1SG, CE8, below. 6. Identifies a sergeant major SGM, pay grade E9 or command sergeant major CSM, pay grade E9 as of 1 April 2011. Fifth character, a letter or number and a special qualification identifier SQI. It may be associated with any MOS unless otherwise specified. Only enlisted soldiers without any special SQI are assigned the SQI O Oscar, often confused with a zero. Warrant officers without any special SQI are assigned the SQI 0, zero. Sixth and seventh characters, an additional skill identifier ASI. They are an alphanumeric combination and may only be associated with specified MOS, although in practice some ASIS are available to every MOS e.g. ASIP-5 for Master Fitness Trainer. Soldiers without any ASIS are assigned the default ASI of MK Let Me Know 00. Eighth and ninth characters, two letter requirements and qualifications which are a language identification code LIC. Soldiers without a language skill are assigned the default LIC. YY. Yankee Yankee. Language identification codes can be found in R611-6. Topic. MOSC for E8 and above. 
When an enlisted soldier is promoted from sergeant first class to master sergeant in most career types, that soldier will be reclassified administratively to the senior sergeant of their career management field. For example, a combat engineer MOS 12B, part of CMF 12, is promoted from sergeant first class to master sergeant. That soldier is reclassified administratively from MOS 12B to MOS 12Z, senior engineer sergeant. An example of when this conversion occurs at the MSG to SGM level is the 68 formerly the 91 CMF. In this case, the soldier becomes a 68Z at the SGM level, not the MSG level. When promoted from Master Sergeant or First Sergeant or Sergeant Major to Command Sergeant Major, that soldier will be reclassified administratively from their previous Senior Sergeant MOS to the MOS 00Z 00 Zulu Command Sergeant Major. Some MOS do not change though, for example 25U starts out as 25U10, E1, E4, 25U20, E5, Sergeant, 25U30, E6, SSG, 25U40, E7, SFC, 25U50, E8, E9, MSG, 1SG, SGM, CSM. <laughs> Army Warrant Officers Warrant officers are sometimes specialized technicians and systems managers, and were not originally assigned to traditional arms or services of the Army. Approximately 50% of warrant officers are aviators aircraft pilots, rotary wing and fixed wing, and can be appointed directly from civilian life or within the service, regardless of previous enlisted MOS. The remaining 50% are technicians appointed from experienced enlisted soldiers and NCOs in a feeder. MOS directly related to the Warrant Officer MOS. During 2004, all Army Warrant Officers began wearing the insignia of their specialty's proponent branch rather than the 83 year old, Eagle Rising, distinctive Warrant Officer insignia. The following year, a revision of Commissioned Officer Professional Development and Career Management integrated Warrant Officer Career Development with the Officer Career Development model. In practice, Warrant Officer MOSC are very similar to enlisted codes except they begin with three digits instead of two before the first letter, and do not have a skill level identifier. They are then followed by the SQI, ASI, and SLI as an enlisted MOS would be. <laughs> Army commissioned officers Commissioned officers' occupational codes are structured somewhat differently. A newly commissioned Army officer first receives a career branch. This is similar to the career management field of the enlisted personnel. Career branch numbers range from 11 to 92. For example, 13 for field artillery, 19 for armor, armored cavalry and 92 for quartermaster. Within each occupational field, there are usually several codes available. Within Armour, Branch 19 there are three specialties available, 19A Armour, General, 19B Armour, and 19C Cavalry. After an officer's fifth or sixth year of service, he or she may receive a functional area designation. More specific than a career branch, this is a specific skill set in which the officer is proficient. For example, an artillery officer who has had schooling in communications and public speaking could end up with a functional area in public affairs FA46. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Marine Corps. The US Marine Corps begins by separating all jobs into occupational fields. OCCFLD, in which no distinction is made between officers and enlisted Marines. The fields are numbered from 01 to 99 and include general categories intelligence, infantry, logistics, public affairs, ordnance, etc. under which specific jobs fall. Each field contains multiple MOSES, each designated by a four-digit numerical indicator and a job title. For example, the infantry field 03 has 10 enlisted classifications: rifleman MOS 0311, riverine assault craft marine MOS 0312, light armored vehicle marine MOS 0313, scout sniper MOS 0317, reconnaissance marine MOS 0321, machine gunner MOS 0331, mortarman MOS 0341, infantry assault marine MOS 0351, anti-tank missile gunner MOS 0352, and infantry unit leader MOS 0369. Each of the jobs have authorized ranks associated with them. 
For example, anyone ranking from private to sergeant can be a rifleman 0311, but only Marines ranking from staff sergeant to master gunnery sergeant can be an infantry unit leader 0369. Duties and tasks are identified by rank because the Marine Corps MOS system is designed around the belief that increased duties and tasks accompany promotions. The first two digits designate the field and, the last two digits identify the promotional channel and specialty. For example, the MOS 0311 indicates that it is in Occupational Field 03 infantry and designates the Rifleman 11 MOS. For warrant officers, the MOS 2305 indicates that it is in Occupational Field 23 Ammunition and Explosive Ordnance Disposal and designates the Explosive Ordnance Disposal Officer 05 MOS. For officers, the MOS 0802 indicates that it is in Occupational Field 08 Field Artillery and designates the Field Artillery Officer 02 MOS. Topic. Navy On September 29, 2016, the Navy announced it will «modernize» all rating titles for sailors with a new classification system that will move towards occupational specialty codes similar to how the other services operate. Former Master Chief Petty Officer of the Navy Michael Stevens led the controversial review earlier this year for the Secretary of the Navy on behalf of Chief of Naval Operations, Admiral John Richardson. Initially, the Navy Rating Modernization System eliminated all rating titles. The former Master Chief Petty Officer of the Navy, Stephen S. Giordano, said, Sailors would no longer be called, Yeoman Second Class or YN2, for example. He said, Instead they will be second class petty officer or petty officer however sailors rates will not change an E7 will remain a chief petty officer and an E3 will remain a seaman additionally there will no longer be a distinction between airman fireman and seaman the fleet at large did not respond to this favorably as a result, Admiral Richardson rescinded this change on December, 21, 2016, restoring all rating titles. However, the plan retains the goal of producing sailors with more than one NOS, which might give them a broader range of professional experience and expertise and will be grouped under career fields that will enable flexibility to move between occupational specialties within the fields and will be tied to training and qualifications. The transformation will occur in phases over a multi-year period and the Chief of Naval Personnel will lead the implementation efforts. The United States Navy has not released its NOS details yet and has not changed designators for officers. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Enlisted Personnel Ratings. The Navy indicates its ratings by a two- or three-character code based on the actual name of the rating. These range from ABE aviation boatswain's mate, equipment to YN yeoman. Each sailor and chief petty officer wears a rating badge indicating their rating as part of their rate rank insignia on full dress and service dress uniforms. <laughs> Commissioned officer designators The Navy officer designator is similar to an MOS but is less complicated and has fewer categories. For example, a surface warfare officer with a regular commission has a designator of 1110, a reserve officer has an 1115 designator. A reserve surface warfare officer specializing in nuclear training i.e., engineer on a carrier has a designator of 1165N. Navy officers also have one or more three-character additional qualification designators AQD that reflect completion of requirements qualifying them in a specific warfare area or other specialization. In some senses this functions more like the MOS in other services. An officer with the Naval Aviator designator of 1310 might have an AQD of DV-3, SH-60F carrier anti-submarine warfare helicopter pilot, or DB-4, F-14 fighter pilot. An officer designated 2100, Medical Corps officer physician may hold an AQD of 6 CM, Trauma Surgeon, or 6 AE, Flight Surgeon who is also a Naval Aviator. Some AQDs may be possessed by officers in any designator, such as BT-2, Freefall Parachutist, or BS-1, Shipboard Tomahawk Strike Officer. 
Navy officer designators and AQD codes may be found in NAVPERS 15839I, the Manual of Navy Officer Manpower and Personnel Classification. IP Topic. Coast Guard The United States Coast Guard does not use the military occupational specialty concept either, instead dividing their occupational specialties into groups such as aviation, administrative and scientific, deck and weapons, and engineering and hull. Their rating system is very similar to the Navy's EGBM, Boatswain's Mate. Enlisted personnel ratings The Coast Guard indicates its «ratings» by a two- or three-character code based on the actual name of the rating. These range from AMT Aviation Maintenance Technician to YN Yeoman. Coast Guardsmen wear a rating badge indicating their rating as part of their rate rank insignia on full dress and service dress uniforms. Air Force The Air Force utilizes a similar system, but titled, Air Force Specialty Code AFSC. Enlisted airmen have a five-digit code, and officers have a four-digit code. See also Comparative military ranks <laughs>